a little tough. Swim around, honey. You want to put the water lens so you can see it clear? Uh, it's tough with the camera. I'll do it with my cell phone. Oh, okay. Super glittery, super glittery. Hold on a second. Oil and sunglasses. Bomb. Hold on, hold on. Yep, now you can see. Now you can see. No glare there, baby. So weird. Now you guys are seeing what the Waterlands show. You can see crystal clear. That's what I've been seeing today. So crazy. So crazy. Guys, I have no idea where she's moving. Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach. Look at this fish. Catch him up. So these guys are actually my albino iridescent catfish that we've raised up between Joey and I. We actually raised them and they are now pretty, pretty big. Now, if you guys could guess, how big would you say these things are? That, that's, that's a solid two feet, right? Yeah. That's a solid two feet, right? Yeah. All day long, solid, fat sway. But this guy right here, this guy right here. What we have in this that we just caught, man, that was tough. We had eight pound test. We fought that thing forever. Eight pound test fluorocarbon. We use the Waterland sunglasses. You already know, catch them 10, 10% 10 off. You can grab your Waterland shades in the link below and all your peripherals will be completely accounted for. That's why I wear them. That's why I love them. But guys, check this out. We are about to put this thing into the pond. Oh my God. We just saw something big. I saw something big anyway. That might have been what was chasing that big old 40 pound pot. Okay, check this out guys. What we need to do now is we need to acclimate this fish. This is a monster. It's as big as it's cooler. And now bring this a little bit closer. Just a wee bit. This is an absolute monster. <clears throat> Your boy been in the gym. Come on now. What you what y'all looking at me like that for? Like I don't hit the gym. Check this out. Move this out of the way. One second. One second. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Check this out. Look at the size of this thing next to me. This is absolutely insane. Okay. So what we're going to do here, he's obviously doing really, really well. The water levels are a little bit lower because we've been splashing around. But he's right side up. He's doing great. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start siphoning water from this body of water into this one. So it's going to be a little bit of a trickle drip system. I don't show you this very often on the channel, but when we catch, when we catch big fish, this is what we're doing off camera. I wanted to show you guys that because I really just don't. Okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working. <laughs> See that little trickle? That's all we need, right? Just that little trickle, and that's all we need. And what we're going to do here is that's going to continue to flow right through his face. I'd rather have it on his face. So what I need to do here, I need to move it. If the temperatures were the same, but just a slightly cooler, I would just throw them right in. But they're not. And it's always better to have them acclimated anyway. You don't know what the pH is of each different body of water. You know, the salinity, all types of stuff. We just, I'd rather just have a drip system on a fish this big, especially when he's healthy like that. If he was like half alive, then I might just throw him in and try to wake him up, be like, please, back to life, mouth to mouth, you know, start spitting through his gills. So they like that spit, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're just gonna take our time with this guy. I'm gonna put this now on the other side if I can. We still flowing, baby. We still flowing. Oh, and that's all we need right there, just like that. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. See? Yeah. Still good. If it stops, it'll just completely stop, guys. So we're good with that. Should be good. And that's that, guys. Now we're gonna take them and put them in there after about an hour. Guys, I have no idea where Shamu is. I think Shamu went for the great swim. <laughs> Unless you jumped over there. I'll... I saw her this morning. She put in that new um, tiger shovel nose. She's been pretty aggressive, but with the food, it was wild. Shamu is not in here at all. She was in here this morning. Perfectly fine. See that little hole is there? 
Yeah. I think Chimu is just small enough for all of our other catfish are way too big to fit through there. Uh, Shamu is actually small enough that if she went sideways, she could probably use like this fish slip and slide right here and go right into the lake. Shamu? That was a big freaking bass. Right there. You see the bass to the right? To the right? To the right, is that her? To the right, is this her right here? She went deep. That was a big bass. I couldn't tell though. I mean, she is, that thing was like five pounds. I don't think that was Shamu. Well, the mystery of Shamu. I'm gonna have to, I'll check the cameras. I'll check the cameras. I mean, I could see a person right here, but I'm gonna really have to gonna, but it was in the day, no, I saw her this morning. So I'm gonna be able to check the cameras to see if this thing jumped out. That's, rid that's ridiculous. <laughs> New water in, old water out. Continue the process. So weird. Anyway, let's see. She's looking good. She's looking good. Good news with the bad news, right? Oh, the monster. <laughs> this thing is insane. Oh my God, it's so big. Please don't splash me, I'll be toast. Okay, ready? Ready, honey? Come on. <laughs> okay, now she's super alert and active. She's ready to swim around. Which means it's gonna be super tough to get her in this pond. <laughs> be careful with those bars, bro. Oh no. They have that thing bars? could go right into my chest like Steve, man. Bro, I'm it's like not you. even funny like at all. Okay. <sighs> Try this way. Oh my god. You hear that? Oh, it's mounting. One picture. One picture, baby. One picture, honey. Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> Something you see on River nice. Monsters, bro. This is insane. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Welcome home. Dude, where to hold on to that? Oh yeah, that was a little tough. A little tough. Swim around, honey. You want to put the water lens so you can see it clear? Uh, that's tough to put the camera. I'll do it with my cell phone. Oh, okay. Super glary, super glary. Hold on a second. Oil and sunglasses. Bomb. Hold on, hold on. Yep, now you can see. Now you can see. No glare there, baby. So weird. Now you guys are seeing what the Waterlands show, you can see crystal clear, that's what I've been seeing today. So crazy, so crazy guys, I don't know. This is such a weird animal, I hope it does good. But I've seen them in shallower water than this, perfectly fine for years at the neighborhood fish farm where they have one that's just about as long but not as big, not nearly as fat. This thing is a monster, look he's swimming above them. He's doing good, there he is. Not dragging anymore, there it is. There it is. A little readjusting. Take your time. Amazing. Pretty Amazing. Cool, Amazing, baby. Amazing. He's going into the corner. Let's see how he acts with the corner. So he acts with the. Nice. Nice. We'll see how he does. We'll see how he does. He's super comfortable. He starts eating. He's happy. He's relaxed. Then we'll keep him in here. Otherwise, we're going to have to go big or go home. We might have to just buy a new house for just this one pet. You know what I'm saying? Like, this yeah. thing is. A, that is a masterpiece, man. God makes some really cool things. Guys, this has been amazing. I, I don't know what happened to Shamu. Like, as happy as I am about this animal, this is amazing. But I don't know what happened to Shamu. Which, that's ridiculous. I'm gonna check the cameras. I'm absolutely positive. Either an osprey. I mean, I've seen even bald eagles out here. But something could have grabbed him or her. I just don't understand why she would jump out after not jumping out for so long, unless, unless one of these guys, especially this guy right here, that, can you, can you see, damn what, hold on a second guys, hold on a second, hold on, hold on, I got you, hold on, I got you, hold on, this is what I'm trying to show you guys, hold on, okay, here we go, see that, down there, that guy, this girl is a bad girl, and she is freshly caught, and this girl might have done it. But yeah, you guys can see the glare on that, it's terrible, but you guys can also compare it with the Waterlands and 
that tiger shovel nose catfish might have might have knocked her up just through the moon. I've seen her like nudge her sometimes and do a little tail nib, but Shamu was perfectly fine today. No bites, none of that stuff. No, no telltale signs of like, hey, I'm stressed, take me out of here, put me somewhere else. I could have put her in, I have plenty of room. I have other ponds here that she would be perfectly fine in. Um, I don't know where she is. We're gonna check the cameras for you guys, but stay tuned for the next episode. Guys, cop your Waterland sunglasses. These things are cream of the crop, I'm telling you. Uh, I love them, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. Catch them 10 if you want to get your Waterland sunglasses. Waterlandcode.com. The link is in the description below. Make it easy for you guys and 10% off with the code Catch 10 guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. This is a magnificent monster. Stay tuned to see what we do with this absolute beauty of an animal. That is a magnificent animal, guys. Uh, stay tuned and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get him up.